Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Okay, so let's, let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, off camera, what I was getting for you is that a relationship might be over. Uh, it could be same sex or it could just be a, a friendship between, you know, women. Uh, you feel like something was taken from you. And I know if somebody took something from you or... Or, or someone talked okay someone was talking about you or they didn't they didn't show up genuine in the connection um you could feel like they took something from you also they held back something from you um the, the situation makes the breakdown of the connection makes things bittersweet but you know that you have to move on you have to heal from this you also have to think about the future and how you'll deal with um other relationships in terms of you know uh friendships and maybe even romantic relationships for some of you all right so let's move forward let's see what's going on for my aries in love yeah five of swords it's like again talking about you or saying something about you or backbiting or just aggression altogether bad blood between you and someone else and there's a breakdown in communication it's, it could be little to no communication right now um defeat here uh, it was just best to walk away. I don't know if you said something or the other person said something, but uh, definitely question your motive or you have to question this person's motive. What were they trying to do? What did they do? You know, uh, where were they coming from with this? Uh, the Hierophant, this could be a, a large entity also, maybe a business or a business contract or someone who there was a head and then maybe you were, you know, there's a leader, then there were followers, you know, a head, uh, department head, uh, CEO, and then there was, uh, you know, employees, uh, someone maybe that you worked for, or someone who had a lot of power, you know, it could even be a governmental agency. Um, someone misused you or you feel like there was misuse, you feel like there was lies and deception, you feel like their motive was off from the beginning. Um, they didn't mean well from the beginning, it, you know, almost as you're looking at this. Uh, they were out to get what it is they wanted. Uh, Self-centered aggress ag aggressiveness, you know. Um, you feel like you guys need mediation or you're going to have to go to some mediator. You're going to have to go to some agency that provides mediation to get whatever it is you feel like you lost or you or was taken from you. Because you there's a winner and then there's a loser in the five of swords. So somebody feels like there is something lost. Um, they have to move on in uh, shame. If not shame, they have to move on in regret and remorse, okay, uh, of not getting what, what they wanted out of this uh, person, place, or thing. I don't know. Um, this also could be love. It, it could have just be a, a love relationship gone wrong or gone bad. Uh, there could have been some tough words spoken between you and someone else. Um, and then there's a need to kind of have mediation here or at least have some type of uh, apology uh, or some type of uh, clearing the air. Um, someone also could be saying that somebody needs some psychological help or, or um, yeah, psychological help or, uh, yeah. There's also somebody here married. Okay, there's somebody married or in, the, in a long-term commitment and, um, their motive for bringing you in on the connection or, or your motive for bringing them in on the connection is just wrong. Um, it's uh, aggressive and it was uh, selfishness. You know, like they just wanted to use someone or, or, or misuse them. All right, let's see. Let's see. What else is going on here for it? Aries, you have the Fool card. So it looks like someone is going to go in a new direction. I don't know. Someone, it looks like the Fool is facing the other way. So I don't know if you're going to go back to this person or this person is coming back to you um, with a new idea, new beginnings, um, fun, flirty, uh, carefree. Someone wanted you to be a part of, or they want you to be a part of um, their marriage. 
but they want no strings attached. They want a fun, flirty, carefree connection with you. Um, they want you to be a third party. Uh, they, they felt like they could use you. This is predator and prey here. Someone feels like they could, um, yeah, this is predator and prey. They felt like maybe they were preying on you. They knew that you uh, would go for it or take the bait is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the Ten of Wands here. And maybe for a very long time, you carried the burden of what this person did or didn't do or said or, or didn't say. Ten of Wands. Not knowing where this relationship was going. Not knowing what you guys were doing. There was something that always needed to be examined in this connection. But it seems as if you kind of put your head down and you carry the weight of this connection for whatever reason. Or this is what the other person did. Um... It seems as if you just need to move on. The tens are about completion, finality. This is the completion. This is the fullness of a thing. It's going to be burdensome. It's going to be uh, laborious. It's going to get you where he can't even see where he's going. His head is down. The staffs are before him. This is the karma that you create for yourself. Okay. Because when you just do things and you don't have a set outcome, then what does it become laborious or laborious? It becomes um, burdensome. We all need to have, you know, definitive outcomes. Define what it is you want in relationships and friendships, whatever it may be. Therefore, you don't fall into karmic cycle to where it's toxic, it's heavy, it's burdensome. You could be going through the grieving process or you need to or someone else is. Someone doesn't know how to apologize or come back to you. They feel like with you leaving or you not talking to them or them not talking to you. Um, there's so much time that has passed between the two of you. You don't even know how to come back together. But they feel like something has been taken from them. This person really gave you all of the sweet nothings you know said all the sweet nothings and they made promises just to break them um maybe this person even declared their intentions to you and it was heartbreaking you had to walk away and you had to walk away and look at this person being in another relationship while this person looked at you as single it's almost as if the both of you are envying each other look at how you both look at each other I'm about to get out of here. I'm trying to keep these short. So this person, you're looking at them or they're looking at you as the nine of wands. Okay, you walked away. You don't want to play ball. You don't want to be a part of my third party situation. And what what is between you two is the four of wands, some relationship that they're either in or that you're in. And um, the nine of pentacles is here also. And this could be you or um, this could be the other person. Just transpose wherever you are. Um, it's like you both envy each other. You both look. What rests between the two of you is this relationship. This is the obstacle. Um, this uh, foundation that somebody has created for themselves. And it's like you both are envying each other. You envy this person for being in this relationship. This person envies you for being single and out of this connection and being carefree and independent and nurturing and just a walking abundant garden, having everything that you need. So it's like um, you both are de definitely in separation here. And, and because there is a relationship between the two of you, um, but you both envy each other. Okay. This person said all kinds of things to you and did nothing. Um, they didn't have much to offer. They couldn't offer you anything. Um, so this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. And take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries, and many blessings to you.